Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. Just like that sow has to boot those cubs out of the way, we as parents have to say, you know what? We gotta give them a little bit of freedom and let them make their own choices. Choice. <laughs> this week we're gonna go hunt black bears, bearing down Cianciarulo style with South Peace Outfitters. Yeah, and we can't waste any time because the Alberta. bears were everywhere and so were the Cianciarulos. Yeah, we were like all over the place. But hey, honestly, we have some great bear oh, hunting footage to share with awesome. you. So let's just get going. We, this is a packed show. Packed. Packed show. Packed. Packed show. show. Roll that bear footage. Roll that wonderful bear footage. <laughs> One of the things that we look most to, you know, in the springtime, and that is our bear season. We love to bear down. And bearing down can take you to British Columbia, they get to Saskatchewan, Alberta, Manitoba, you name it, it's gonna take us somewhere, probably north of the border. And we love it. So Chad and I coming, came right from Saskatchewan. Vicky went home to pick up RJ, which was cool, because then I knew, well, at least I'm gonna start seeing my son again. Hello. Happy birthday. Look it. Hi. Everybody's. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nani. Happy birthday to you. Did you get that? Yes, yes I did. Can you see me? Yes, I can. <laughs> I, I could see up your nose. <laughs> Well, yeah, we all just got out of jail and wanted to wish you happy birthday. Ralph Oh, my God, Vinny, you too bad I'm not there to help you celebrate. Well, yeah, you could be cooking. Cookie would love it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted to wish you happy birthday, Mom. Hi, Ma. Thank you so can, much. Can you see Chad? Hi. How are you, hon? Yes, I can. Happy birthday. He's taking up the whole screen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. Really? <laughs> You, know, you gotta remember, a lot, of, a lot of the people that we try to share with you the adventures, you know, man, they're just like all of us. And they've got, they've got things to do if they're not at camp and they're not hunting. They got their farm, man. They got the ranch. They got all kinds of things going on. They're trying to take care of the horses because a lot of those horses go up to the Yukon. We went back to their house and we just shared the adventure, the everyday routines of just trying to do things. And there were some things Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do. Well, we probably can't show a lot of this on TV, but I'm learning. I don't know if I'll ever have to do this, but I will be prepared because Don's gonna show me how to do it. So, the cervix is closed now, so that's a good sign. Because she had infections, she's still trying to expel stuff, her cervix is open. With the horse's procedure complete, Don and Vet Tech Ralph begin to prepare grain for the upcoming bear hunt. While some bears appear to be infatuated with carbohydrates and sweets, empirical evidence suggests that grain is more effective over the long haul because it enables bears to gain weight quickly, whether they're emerging from a den or storing up for the coming winter. Meanwhile, the Traeger grill is fired up, cooking some mouth-watering steaks for dinner.
Well, once again, we're up here at South Peace Outfitters in Alberta, and this trip was a little bit different for us because this time Ralph actually came up early, and RJ and I came up and met him up here. Mom and Dad asked if I wanted to come up to South Peace Outfitters this year. I'm like, oh yeah, of course. It's predator hunting, bear hunting, you know? It's awesome. But uh, this was right after school ended. It's this, we came here about three, three weeks after school ends for me. I got my Pro Defiant set up. It's brand new, I love this thing. I'm, I'm just excited to get out here and just kill a bear, you know? It's awesome. RJ is with Chad but RJ is actually bear hunting for the first time. Not with mom, not with dad. He's grown up. Let's go. And so now he's gonna have to make his decisions with no one saying, yeah, no, no, don't you. I mean, pretty proud of him. We're all set up for entry stand tonight. This little lake over there. Hopefully we'll have something come in today. Really hoping. He's all that little blonde hair down there from bear, so hopefully that's a really good sign. This guy walks in, he's kind of scrimmaging around for food and whatnot for a while, and he, he gives me a, like a one second pocket to draw back and shoot him. That's not nearly enough time for me. So he, he just kind of walks back around, he's not broadside anymore, he kind of comes down our little alley, and he, he, he looks right, at, right, right up at us for a few seconds, and he just walks away. Ugh. It's early though, hopefully another guy will come in. So after a while, I'm sitting there on my phone again playing video games and whatnot. I look up and I see that same bear come back in. I'm like, check, check, hurry up. There's a bear like right there. It's the same guy. And I'm, re I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get to shoot this guy. And he, he's kind of curious about something. He's coming and he's kind of wondering, watching what he's doing. A little while later, another decent bear comes in. I'm still like, I want to shoot that one that's been in here for a while. I mean, I was ready to kill that guy. The bears are kind of head to head for a little while there. They're just taking their sweet little time eating and whatnot, and they start butt heads again. I was like so excited, my, my leg was shaking. I took the shot. From what it looked like, it was a perfect shot. And then, oh man, I was just ready to go get this thing. It was awesome. Let's go. So after I shot my bear, of course, I had to text my mom. We have, we have the in reaches that we use to text back and forth whenever we don't have service. My in reach just turned flashing to green, and we get this message I shot a black bear. I shot a bear. That's from RJ. He's on the night tree stand up here at South Peace Outfitter. And now I'm waiting for him to give me more details because I don't have the other details. Dad and I are sitting here like. We were just, yeah! Oh, how cool! And it just, and then all of a sudden a little sigh of like, oh, man, I wish I was there. But the really cool thing is, just like that sow, has to boot those cubs out of out of the way. You, we as parents have to say, you know what? We got to give them a little bit of freedom and, and let them make their own choices. That was awesome. And I'll tell you what I'm really excited about. What Vic and I started is going to be in good hands. We got blood right here. Oh, there he is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, well, we got this guy out here ready. This is a beautiful animal. I can't believe it. But every time I come bear hunting, it's just another adventure. But, uh, oh, wow. I still, I still can't believe I'm sitting in front of this animal. This is incredible. I love this. I just I want to thank everybody, especially God, 
He helps me through everything. So does everybody else. Thank you. Oh yeah. Awesome, buddy. Congratulations. Good job. Yeah. RJ shot his first black bear with his Hoyt, black black bear with his Hoyt. And without a mom or a dad with him, Chad went out with him and RJ decided which bear he wanted to shoot, decided when he was going to shoot it and took care of the business. That boy, I used to call him little man, he's not so little man anymore. Well, now that RJ is done using Chad, Ralph and I get a split up. Ralph is going to take RJ with him and I get Chad. It's been kind of crazy. It's been super hot. We got set up. Chad's got a tree stand up next to me. Um, we've been hunting ground blinds, but some of these bears seem to be getting a little bit too smart on the ground blind thing, so we're going to try that out of the tree stand tonight and see what happens. It's like 82 degrees outside. It is hot. And I kid you not, all of a sudden, Chad says, Vic, he goes, there's a bear. And I look, and it is a beautiful, big, chocolate, almost red bear. And it comes in and pick up the Hoyt and get ready. that's bent over? I can see the brown spot. See the tree that's bent over? Yeah. That brown? That's him. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. He didn't go 40 yards. I mean, down, beaming through the whole nine yards. I'm, it was insane. A beautiful bear. Oh, my thermos. Look at this. Be he's got, like, dark eyes, dark legs, and, like, a I was calling him chocolate, but he's actually kind of red. It's a good bear, huh? <laughs> oh, I don't hate, I don't shake. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. Yeah, well. Yeah, so now we got to figure out how to get him out of here. And I know you had to go back and take Ralph out yep. and RJ, so they went out, and then you had to come back and get me now. And this is, I mean, I was calling it a chocolate, but I think he's a cinnamon. I mean, this color is just beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. He's got a beautiful coat and dark paws and dark eyes. It's crazy, huh? I call it red almost. He is almost red. I know I kept saying chocolate, but I don't think he's chocolate. I mean, it's the third day here at South Peace Outfitters, and what a beautiful bear. And I mean, he didn't go anywhere. He didn't go. I think my stand's 30 yards from here. Look at this bear. Look at that. I mean, the proof is in the pudding and on the trailer. So now that RJ filled his tag, it's my turn. And you know who's filling me? My son. How cool is that? Just before Father's Day, I got the best Father's Day present in the world. I am bear hunting with my son. It just don't get no better than that. I'm just pumped to have my film my dad kill a bear at this point. This is awesome. I'm here to tell you, you I, I'm pretty much gonna hold off and, and just wait because. I just love being there. I mean, when you put your, you, we put our Maristep lines up and, and you have these bears feet, feet from you and you just see them and you interact with them, your eye level, there's just something about it and it's just, it's just cool to watch them. Well, Gary just dropped off Archie and I. We're in a great spot. They're getting used to more human odor around here. Possibly we can make it happen. The bugs are horrendous. We had rain and they're just everywhere. I don't know if it's a new hatch or what, but our thermocell's working overtime. But 
We got bears coming in and out. We're he's asking me questions about the bears, their posture, and watching this, watching that. And, and I'm just sitting there absorbing it all. I'm here helping my son learn more about what we love, what we cherish, and what we thank God every day for. To be in a ground ball with my dad, it's kind of like at home in a way. Just sitting there having fun with my dad, just waiting for a bear or any animal, just to come in and just watch it. It's just awesome. I got my son, I got RJ right next to me. He's filming. We got bears in and out, and I mean, it was active. Whether it was the front barometer change, I mean, what was going on, there were bears all around us. And all of a sudden, they take off. And then we look to our right, and I could see, and it looked like a long, mangy, haired bear, which pretty much this time of year, you know, you're, oh, it's a sow, right in back of it is this, is this no-brainer bear. The sow had come past us, started feeding to our left. I'm at full draw, he comes, and he just slowly hesitates. I watched that demon wide out with that delt Spitfire double cross, pow! Do exactly, hit exactly where I needed to. See, we got good blood. Good blood. Look at this. Yeah. RJ. Holy. Holy. You put your time in. You let a lot of bears go by and Look at, look at the size of that bear. Oh yeah, we ain't moving it. Oh boy. Look at the size of that thing. Where would he get, what are we gonna do? You're crazy. Gary, RJ and I are gonna actually try to winch him. Gary brought the, brought the, brought the UTV, ATV, side by side, whatever, um, as far as he can. He's got a long rope winch and we'll just try to slowly bring him through this brush and load him up. We really want to get him back to Camp Hole. With, I mean, you're talking about a, that's a no breaker. Ooh. All right, for RJ, our son, to do it all on his own, I know, without mom and dad, that was pretty cool. He was pretty excited. Oh, I mean, he came back, gosh. he was so geeked about it. And then, I mean, I shot a beautiful cinnamon chocolate. bear. I mean, Shit, chocolate cinnamon. Just beautiful. I yeah. thought it was a combination. Yeah, and then you. Yes. Ralph got the biggest bear. We'll Wait, let, we'll time let out. Ralph have Rewind. Moment. Say that again. Ralph shot the biggest bear. Oh. The beautiful big black bear. He had RJ filming you. It, I mean, it just. When things like that, like we've like we've said before, you know what? Yeah. It's not about filling a tag, it's about the camaraderie and then having RJ film you again. I mean, it's just, you know, we're sharing it together, the whole experience, and we had an amazing trip. You know, Don, everyone up there at South Peace, thank you guys so much for having us up there once again. And honestly, I mean, bearing down seeing us Rulo style, I mean, Ugh. it's kind of fun. You know, this is stuff that he will look back on. Yeah. Just like your children. They're gonna look back on a hunting adventure, a fishing adventure, yep. and think about mom and dad and all the craziness and all the fun and all the ups and the downs, and they're gonna thank God they made the right choice. Yeah, hey, thanks for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's Choice.